Hey guys, it's Kylie. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So today's a super fun video. I'm going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party today. I am so excited. So the party starts at 7 p.m. and it stays until 12 a.m. Start. They start letting people in and giving them their wristbands at 4 so that is my plan is to go early and get my wristband at four because i really want to meet jack and sally so i kind of want to be first in line to meet them yeah i'm super excited for today i'm gonna take you along with me on this little boo to you not too scary halloween vlog and show you everything so i'm super excited and i hope you are too if you are give this video a thumbs up before we go let's do a little outfit check so you can wear costumes to this party but i decided not to and i am going to show you my outfit so I just uh, have on this Disney Happy Halloween shirt that I got in Magic Kingdom in the Emporium. And then I have it with my black skirt. I'm also gonna wear my black Converse. I just don't have them on yet. And then for ears, I'm wearing these super cute Halloween ears that I also got in Magic Kingdom in the Emporium. So that's the little outfit of the day. I'm super excited for today. It's gonna be so much fun. I've never gotten to go to the party before. This is gonna be my first time and I cannot wait to take you guys along with me. So let's go ahead and head to Magic Kingdom. Also, I didn't show you guys my accessories, but I do wanna show you really quick. So I have on my Magic Man Plus. It's just a light purple color. And then I have on this boo bracelet that I made and it's so cute. I just have my Apple Watch. I also have on my Mickey Pearl necklace from Pura Vida. That's the fit. Now let's go to Magic Kingdom. walk in and they give you a little goodie bag like a little treat bag that you can go put all your treats in when you go trick-or-treating um, I don't have mine with me but I will but I will put a picture on the screen so you know what I'm talking about also give you a Halloween it's not so scary Halloween party guide map and this tells you where all of the treat trails are where all of the character meet and greets are when all of the shows are and where you can find some of the party exclusive snacks. So yeah, they have a bunch of different trick or treat locations. They also have a couple, a few different um, specialty food and beverages. So just keep in mind that not all of the party exclusive snacks are listed on here. It's just a couple. I actually tried the Sally Cake Pop, which was at the cart near City Hall. It's also at the cart near the castle, if you're facing the castle on the left of it. And it's a yellow cake pop with raspberry filling and it's topped with a Sally chocolate piece. It was so good. I would give it like a 9 out of 10. Um, it was kind of frozen, so like the chocolate like blue icing was, um, you know, it was hard to like cut it with like a fork. So you kind of had to like pick it up and eat it and it was a little messy, but it tasted so good. The raspberry filling was perfect. The vanilla cake was very moist and like it was a good cake. Like I would honestly get it again. I'm reviewing it now because it was, I was literally running around the entire night trying to do stuff so i didn't have much time to review stuff but the sally cake pop was really good they also had a jack cake pop which is chocolate with marshmallow filling um i didn't try that one i just got the sally cake pop but the jack one looks really good too um if i can find a picture of it i will put it on the screen so you can see what the jack one looks like i'm gonna show you the other snacks that are listed in this so that you can kind of see what they have so they have zombie fingers which you can find at starlight cafe they have chicken wings which are at sleepy hollow and a buffalo chicken hand pie which is at the friar's nook so those are some of the snacks that you can find that are party exclusive again they have so many others so this is not all um, they also have some allergy friendly places for you guys if you need allergy friendly candy. Okay, so before the party starts at 6 we, or at 7, we decided to make a little pit stop into Cosmic Grace for some dinner. So I just got the kids' chicken fingers with fries. It looks so good. But don't worry, we're gonna try some of the party snacks later. Also, we just got our goodie bags and our first treats, which was at the beginning. And we wanted to be Jack and Sally, but it's already a 200 minute wait, so we're gonna wait and do that a little bit later. So for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, the party is from 7 p.m. to 12 a.m., but you are able to get into the park at 4 p.m. and get your wristband and get your first treat and then kind of enjoy the park until 6.15, and that is when character meet and greets start and the treat trails start, so you can do more treats and meet characters while you kind of wait for like the other entertainment to start. So that is what we did, and we got dinner and all that stuff before the party started, which was honestly a really good idea. So the first thing we did when we got to the party was we ate dinner and then we went and met the seven dwarfs because there are so many different meet and greets that you can not normally do. Like 
meet all seven dwarfs at once you cannot do that on a normal day so I really we really wanted to go and meet them so that's what we did it was a posted 120 minute wait but we only waited like 45 which really wasn't bad and we really wanted to meet them so we didn't mind waiting at all so that was a lot of fun they were so adorable like the interaction was so fun they were all so funny and they were all like kind of like talking together and while we were waiting and they were waiting they would like dance to the music and it was so cute so cute <laughs> That's so good. Yep. Y'all all helped. <laughs> Keep an eye on him. I'll help you out. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> oh, of course. We'll see you again soon. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so if you come to Pirates of the Caribbean, they have the pirates like roaming around. They also sing up here on the stage. They're not singing right now, but they're out here roaming, which is so good. Cool. Hey, how are you? Welcome 
are about to go watch the fireworks, which start at 10.15 p.m. It's called Disney's Not So Spooky Spectacular. It starts at 10.15, and they only do it once every night. It's fireworks and projections and, like, a little stage show by the castle. So, honestly, I really recommend it. I thought it was super cute. I loved the fireworks, and it had Jack in it, Jack Skellington. So, I really liked it. <laughs> so long are you a big fan of halloween too? oh i sure am oh it is the best holiday it, isn't it it is <laughs> what's your favorite part of halloween mm, probably getting all the candy mm, i love trick-or-treating cockroaches i'm certain uh, i don't know about cockroaches is that your favorite it's one of my because favorites it's... perhaps less legs for you oh yeah mm -hmm. we'll pick them up and i'll give the extras to jack oh Ooh, perfect <laughs> That would be great. Send, send a shiver down your spine, I'm certain. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Shall we take a portrait? Get lots of candy. Oh, of course. I'll try. Thank you. You guys, I waited five minutes to meet Jack and Sally. That was the coolest thing I've done in my whole life. Like, I videoed some of it, and I hope I got a pretty good video for you guys. Um, I inserted those clips, but I also inserted the pictures. Um, but yeah, we watched the fireworks show, which happens at 10.15, and then we went, I went and I sprinted to meet Jack and Sally. It said it was 45 minutes, I waited 5 minutes, and that was the coolest characters I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm sorry this vlog has kind of been all over the place, there's so much to do with so little time. I have a whole map, and I'm going to explain everything later, it's just kind of hard to right now because I'm running around. I'm sprinting right now to try and find a seat in Frontierland so I can see the second boot to you. There's two boots used, one's at 9.15 and one's at 11.15. It's 10.50 right now. So I'm going over there to find a seat and we're gonna watch this and see the Headless Horseman, which I am so excited for. So let's go. Okay, so we are going to watch the second boot to you parade, which is at 11.15. And before the parade starts, we got to see the country bears. They like came out and they invited us to come into the middle and go on like a little like, they wanted us to like show off our Halloween costumes. I didn't have a Halloween costume on, but I still had like a Halloween outfit on and they were super cute. They invited me and we like did a little walk and ran around and they were so cute. I'm just gonna show you the clips because me talking and explaining it is not helping. Hello! Come on in, we're gonna get a big laugh right here. Oh my goodness, these outfits. If y'all put any outfits in your outfit tonight, I need to see it and appreciate it because I sure do. Alright. Alright, we're gonna do? Open up your chest, get your hands up here, you're real proud of your outfit, and we're gonna strut. Alright, we're gonna do a march. Alright, and we get almost down. Oh yeah. 
then after that Boo You started the headless horseman is supposed to come out like five ish minutes before Boo You. i don't know what happened um but he did not come out during the second one which was kind of sad because i really wanted to see him because he's so cool i've seen him before from like videos and like working at the parties but I really wanted to see him last night and we didn't get to, which is okay. It was still a lot of fun. Boo to you is still really good. And we were at the beginning of the parade, kind of, so they had full energy. They were being so fun. I love all the characters and how they, like, interact with you. It's my favorite thing ever. So let's go and watch Boo to you. <laughs> Another show that they have is the Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular. It's with all of the Sanderson sisters and then they bring different villains and characters onto the stage for like a little show. We went to the one at midnight and it was kind of like a shortened version because it, of the weather. It was raining so they couldn't do the full performance. So I didn't get to see all of it, but they have multiple show times. Then at 7.40, 8.35, 10.45, and midnight. So keep that in mind um, that if you go to the last one, it could like me how mine was because of weather, but it was still really cute and they still did a very, very good job. I really liked that one. exclusive merchandise which I actually didn't even like realize that until I kind of got there but they had a spear jersey they had some t-shirts they had a bunch of different like Mickey's not so scary Halloween party exclusive merch um they even had a mug it says on the back event merchandise they had a lot of stuff but yeah overall Mickey's not so scary Halloween party was a ton of fun like I would honestly recommend going I would go again if I could because there's a lot to do there's a lot of different special character meet and greets of people you can't normally meet on a normal day there's a ton of entertainment a ton of treats um snacks all kinds of stuff it was a ton of fun the wait times for the rides were like really low too like we walked straight into pirates of the caribbean did not wait a single minute and it was really great i really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video i had so much fun making it and so much fun going i know that i didn't talk a lot while i was there and i'm kind of doing like this talk where i jump here and then i jump back to the day i was there if that makes sense um because there was just a lot a lot to do and it was hard for me to kind of like explain things as i was going and it's easier for me to explain it now so I can actually give you all the information. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe down below and turn on this post notifications so you guys never miss when I upload another video. I would love to know if you've ever been to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and what your favorite part was. My favorite part was probably meeting Jack and Sally. That was the coolest character meet and greet ever and the fact that I only waited five minutes for it made it ten times better. My second favorite part would be watching the Boots You parade. It was so cool. Even though we didn't get to see the Headless Horseman because he didn't come out during the second parade, it was still so much fun. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!